Hi, I'm Jay, and I'm the Children's Librarian at the Churchill County Library. I have three new books to show you today, and they all have one thing in common. They are all il illustrated by the author. Many times a book will have one person who writes the words, the author, and another person who makes the pictures, the illustrator. For these three books, the author and the illustrator are the same person. The first book I have is called Green Light by Brianna Carzu. In this book, the green light in a traffic light wonders why everyone leaves when he shines. I used to think I was super bright and sparkly and spectacular, but every time I shine my light with the world, ready, set, ready, set, ready, set, I'm left here alone. And I know I'm not supposed to think this, but what's the point of shining my light if no one likes it anyway? What happens when green light decides it's not going to shine anymore? Check this book out to find out. The author has some great activities on her website as well. We'll post the link with the video. The second book I have for you today is Stickler Loves the World by Lane Smith. In this book, we meet Stickler, an eight-eyed being who loves the world so much, Stickler wishes to see the world for the first time all over again. When a being from another planet comes along, Stickler feels the joy of showing its world to the stranger. If you think about it, our world has some pretty weird stuff in it, said Stickler, opening all of its eight eyes. Oh, to see it all anew. Wouldn't that be amazing? Erp, said a voice. Help to you, stranger, said Stickler. I can see by your cutting-edge space helmet that you are not from our Earth. Get the thing off my head. I do not understand your language, visitor with only three eyes, but let me share with you the wonder of my planet. Who is this mysterious stranger? Again, you'll have to pick up the book to find out. And if you are interested in how picture books like this are made, there's a really great explanation on Lane Smith website. And the last book I have for you today is called The Night Garden by Karen Berger. As you look through this book, you will notice that a lot of the illustrations have parts of words and pictures in them that don't seem to belong to part of the drawing. That's because Karen Berger reuses paper from other places to make up her illustrations. In the night garden, you can lie on the cool grass and look up to the millions and millions of stars. If you are very patient and very lucky, you might catch a glimpse of a shooting star. There's so much to see in this book, and the author has some amazing videos of gluing all the fireflies in the front cover. When you watch it, you can imagine how long it took to make this whole book. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining me. You can put these books and others on hold at www.churchillcountylibrary.org. Have a great day.